Bear ordered this box. It's been sitting here for like, gosh, months. And it is a paella pan. Everybody, Princess the Bear here, and we're back with another cooking at home video. Yes, this time is something we've been waiting to create for a while. Actually, Hi, yeah, yes, ever since we first went to to Haleo, Haleo, we didn't actually get to have it. We didn't get, day. yeah, but we've been dying for it ever since, and then we did have it at the Columbia restaurant in Tampa. Yes, in Tampa. So we are going to try to make our own vegan version at home using Jose Andres's recipe, and we're gonna get it and show you how this is made. Be sure to ole! You heard the girl.
Yeah, that wasn't too bad. No, it was actually pretty quick. It's basically just boiling rice with veggies in it. Yeah, like 20-ish minutes, I think. The prep, if you make all fresh vegetables like we do, does take some time, so... Not that much time, though. It was rather quick. You just throw everything in the food processor and go. Yeah. So Frito probably took the most time, actually. Which was just throwing everything in the food processor and <laughs> go. So, we have our vegan vegetarian... Vegan? Not vegan. Yes, vegan. Obviously. Vegan paella. <laughs> Following the recipe by... Jose Andres. Yes. So, let's dig in. Get some of everything from this eggplant, some of this cauliflower. I think that's a big enough bite right there. Peas. I can see the steam. Christ. <laughs> Pretty flavorful. Mm. It actually is bringing back some Columbia vibes. And the charm actually helps bring some flavor to the vegetables. Which and is it's, really it's nice. A cultural thing. They call it a sock, sock Mm hmm. Mm. A little charm yeah. at the bottom. Reserved it, for the chef, apparently. It does remind me of um, Columbia restaurant, but I feel like this one was a little bit more flavorful than that. And it really, it just makes me really excited to go back to. Hileo, since it did just reopen did it just on August 20th. Ooh, top for a visit. Mm-hmm. I think you actually compared the two. Uh, I would say, given um, the time and the flavor, I really thought this was going to be a lot harder, a lot more complicated to make, honestly. It's a three and a half to five plus. I'd eat this for dinner every night. I might add, like, some tofu to it. Some different veggies. Maybe some... Alt meat of some sort, perhaps. Hmm. It's a nice flavorful bite. We admitted the mushrooms because we couldn't is, find the wild mushrooms. That's what we really wanted to put in there. This really feels like one of those dishes you can basically add any veggies you like and sort of make it your own. Um, if I did it, making it from scratch, I would probably omit the peas because you can't really even taste them in there anyway. So they're no fine. They serve. They're protein. But I think everything else in here is rather good. I approve. Um, I would say this is um worth trying at least once at home. Yeah. Please, if you guys have tried this, definitely tell us in the comments because we love to hear your feedback on what you think of this recipe or how it tasted for you when you made it at home. If you have a pie recipe, also hit us up in the comments. Yes, we'll try your recipe. Yes, we will. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. My first ever paella. And there's so much food on the plate. It almost tastes like a better version of a gumbo, but obviously not a soup. Pretty good. Much better than I expected it to be. I would eat this again. I would make this at home, actually. It's pretty good. So also my first buy, yeah. Somehow I managed to avoid this for a lot of years. Mm. Flavorful. A lot of veggies. Interesting. The rice is a little bit less than all the way cooked. How do I feel about it? But for now, two and a half out of five plus. I'm not sure I'd get that.